Hi, I'm Marina and it's great to see you. Today we'll be doing transfer resistant makeup, which has become so necessary right now with the times of using face masks. So if you'd like to see how I get this look, keep on watching. But before we do that, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Marina Lumi Princess, on Twitter at Marina Lumi 2, and on TikTok at Marina.Elkan. So guys, of course, with the makeup, since masks are necessary now, the most important thing is wearability with regards to transferring as little as possible. So my goal with that will be to, of course, have the makeup as stuck to my face as possible. So I'll be starting with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And as always, I take it on my neck because I want my neck to be the same as my face as much as I can. And for foundation, I'll be going in with my NARS Soft Matte in Von Auto. It's become my favorite since I've tried it. And I also have noticed that out of the foundations that I have right now, this one transfers the least. So during the day, of course, you will see a little bit of it rubbing off onto your mask, but I don't get this space on my chin and on my tip of my nose that I've been getting recently because of the mask wearing. Now before the foundation has time to set, after the first layer, I give a little spritz setting spray works better when it's sprayed to help it stay and not transfer during and not after and of course taking it down my neck as well for brows today I'll be using the Colourpop Brow Boss in the shade Dark Brown of course who's brushing the brows into place For the save time, I did my brows off camera. I used both the NYX powder and the brow boss from Colourpop. And for directly under the eyes, my absolute favorite right now, the NARS concealer in soft matte. I mean, I literally feel like where has this been all my life? Why haven't I, you know, been using pot concealers for a while? I don't know. So for directly under my eyes where I would like to hide a bit of dark circles, the NARS will go. And then the areas that I want to highlight, I'll be using a combination of the Fenty and Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealers. These two do not budge and I found this combination to be very, very helpful for the areas that I want to highlight on my face, especially with the mask. I'm mixing it on the back of my hand and applying this in this case to the outer edge of my eyes. So the rest of my face where I want to highlight, I will be using the combination of the Tom Ford and the Fenty. Now as usual, all the products that I use in the video will be listed down below. I'm giving myself another spray, the Smashbox Primer Water. To set the under eyes, I'll be using the Sasha Buttercup Powder in light. And the rest of my face, of course, with the Natasha Denona Invisible HD Powder. Now, taking my Beauty Blender Puff, I'll be dipping it into the cover, what's there, and pressing it into my skin. I 
using a powder brush to set my neck. To contour, I'll be using the KVD Shade and Light and Oldie But Goodie and it's a tried and true especially now. I've found that using more powder products along with the setting spray really helps to seal in the makeup so it doesn't come off your skin easily with the mask. To contour my cheekbones, this has been a really fun trick of mine. Recently, I've been using the Huda Beauty Body Blue brush to contour on my cheekbones. It was actually a trick that was taught to me by Kirk of Julin and I've been really liking it so far so I dip it into the contour powder and using my smaller brush to contour the rest of my face. I'm grabbing my favorite brush to blend out the contour. Those of you who have been watching me for a while, you all know I love to bake. Now, especially with the masks wearing, it has really been very helpful. So going again with my puff and baking, of course, along jawline, under the cheekbones. Forehead. And of course, pretty much anywhere that I had a lot of concealer. So for the nose and under eye area, I'll be doing a little bend of the Natasha Denona and the Sasha Buttercup Light. Now before I show you all this, this palette is so busted. <laughs> But that's to tell you that I love it so much. This is the KKW X Mario, the original palette. I love this palette because it's versatile. I can get a really dramatic look as well as I can get an everyday look from it. Taking my large crease blender blush, I will be going into the color. I think it's called Miami. Yeah, Miami, this color here. And bringing it into the crease. And with the gentle pressure, guys, I am just giving it a little wash of color in the crease. Seeing as the mouth area is covered, mouth and nose. I have been doing more dramatic looks on my eyes and actually have been having a lot of fun with graphic liner looks, bold eye looks, because that's the focus where the makeup is concerned right now. And just for fun today, we'll be going in with a fun, colorful eyeliner look. I'll be using the ABH Novena Cake Liner. Starting with the purple because it's my favorite, the electric purple. Of course, giving it a spritz as is necessary for this formula. Now, there's a trick with this. I don't use it immediately when it's very, very wet. I wait for it to dry down a little bit and get a little more tacky. And that way I feel I get the best performance out of the formula that way. Taking my eyeliner brush, I'll be dipping it into the purple and creating a dramatic wing to start off the look. I'll be making a thicker line along the lash line than I normally would. You'll see why in a moment. And I'll be doing the other eye off camera just to save time. Now going in with the electric orange.
Can you all tell I wasn't breathing while I was doing that? <laughs> now I'm taking my favorite inner corner highlight brush. I'm going in with the Jaclyn Loose Highlights in the Color Bomb. I don't think these are available anymore. If Jaclyn would bring these back, I would be so happy. It's one of my favorites. And just dipping into what's left in the cover. And just to let you guys know, you don't have to use this specific highlight. You can use any highlighter of your choice, of course. And giving it a spritz, not that it needs it. And waving it around for about 10 seconds. I'll be placing it in a ball here to make a huge bright dot, which I typically don't do anymore. Now, usually I would go in with a more precise inner corner eye jewel. However, for this type of a look that I want, I need it to show up more. You'll see why in a moment. I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. Oh. Oh my god, like I said, I love this highlight. I honestly wish Jacqueline would bring this one back. If you happen to be lucky enough to have one of those, hold on to them. Now going into the white and giving it a spritz. Now you guys can see why I went so extra with the highlights because I wanted it to be seen around my extended inner corner. And I'll do the same of course on the other eye. Taking my brow bone highlighter brush and dipping back into the KKWX Mario palette in the color Decade and bringing it to my brow bone. Grabbing my puff again, I'll be pressing and rolling all over my skin to press in the powder that we've been baking with. Now of course grabbing my powder brush and dusting away any excess. And for right under the eye, going in with a very delicate brush. And this is the GH06. And now of course blending out the nose contour. Now grabbing my beauty blender and whatever, as you can see, there's a little bit of foundation left on the underside of it and further blending in the doors to make it a little more natural. And now going in with another spritz of the setting spray. And dabbing, of course, at any droplets. And using my, of course, tried and true favorite bronzers from Fenty, Beige and Girl and Carmel Cutie to bring back color to my face. Under the cheekbones with Carmel Cutie just because I like a little more depth there. Then going into of course Beige and Girl for the rest of my face. And of course, another spritz. And for blush, going in with the KKW Beauty in the color Lux. I've been really loving this particular color recently. And spray. So what's been helping me, as you've been seeing, is tons of spray. So I spray in between each cream product application, as well as in between powder steps. Now for highlight, 
this particular trick I only recently started using it to get that strobe effect that I've been seeing that I 100% love so I squeeze the beauty blender in some tissue to get any any form of dampness out of it and taking it I dip it into one of my cream highlights in this case I'll be using the cream highlight from Huda Beauty's summer palette this is also a trick that I learned from Huda when she did her video on how to attain glass like skin and dipping a side of the beauty blender into the cream product and bring it onto my cheekbone and a little bit into the temples and of course as you guys can see this part is very subtle but wait for it with this strobe then grabbing a densely packed fan brush just like this this is the Jaclyn G03 so if you don't have this exact brush you can use one similar to it and grabbing a powder highlight today I'll be using Fenty Trophy Wife because I haven't used it in a while and it's still very much a favorite of mine and very very lightly because we all know this has intense color tapping the brush into it and pressing and swiping in circular motions just on the very high point of the cheekbone right there now here's what adds to the trick grabbing another type of highlighter brush in this case I'll be using the JH09 I take it and I just gently blend around it so that there isn't like a streak or a spot of highlight on your face. As usual, when I'm doing light blending, I hold just the end of the brush and just do light scratching motions around. And there you have it, a strobe. And of course, going into highlighting the center of my face. I'll be dipping back into Jaclyn color in Balm and just taking what's left in the cover because of how highly pigmented it is. Bringing it to the bridge of the nose, just gently tapping out with my finger and using my inner corner brush to get the tip of the nose. And now bringing this to the cupid's bow. And now going over the last spritz. And setting my brows with the ABH Dip Brow Gel in Dark Brown. Now grabbing my lash cooler and giving my natural lashes a little curl before I add the mascara. And for mascara, I will be using a favorite of mine, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash in waterproof, of course, and the color black. And for the bottom lashes, I'll just take the tip of the lash brush and bring it along the lower lashes. This actually helps with preventing smudging under the eye due to the mask. For lashes, I'm trying to decide between Body Bee Lashes in Sugar Baby or Lily Lashes in Miami Flare. Sugar Baby is a bit fuller than the Miami's and I don't want to have spent all this time 
on this extensive eyeliner to have it blocked. So I'll be going in with the Miami Flares. And using for glue today, the Huda Beauty Sticky Tacky Lash Glue. Lashes on, as you guys can see off camera. I removed the clips from my hair. Now, lastly, for lips, I'll be using my favorite lip combo right now. I find that it doesn't rub off and transfer onto the mask either. And yes, I wear lipstick underneath my mask as I take off the mask occasionally. With COVID restrictions, I'd like to put that out there. And I still would like to have nice lips underneath the mask. This is the Pat McGrath Puma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil in the color buff. And for lipstick, I'll be going in with an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lip in the color Bel Air. giving that about a minute or so to dry down again. Grabbing my Jeffree Star Liquid Lip from the Nude Vault Collection. This is the color Chrysanthemum. And it's taking a little touch of it to the inside of the lip. And create a nice ombre effect. So I'll be using this medical mask. As you can see, there's nothing on it. And now... Well, as you can see, just a tiny, tiny bit of lip, but the foundation has not let me down. No transfer. NARS has not let me down since I began using this foundation as well as this method of the consistent spraying in between especially with the spraying during the foundation application. The most I have transfer of during the day is maybe like a tiny tiny bit of brown on the inside of the mask but I don't end up with a patch of foundation missing hair or hair which has been happening to me with other brands. No shade, no tea towards those brands. I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look and stay tuned for the belly dance move of the day. Chest pops. These are a great accent move that you can add to any belly dance routine. Think about it as having a really bad case of hiccups and your chest jumping with it. Now in second position, using your rib cage, you lift the chest and drop it. So it's lift, drop, lift, drop. These are chest pops. From the side, it looks like this, using the ribcage. Lift, drop the chest, lift, drop the chest. In the front, chest pops. I had a lot of fun with you guys. Bye.